Deja am trei vezi. O aprobat, înainte nu fost aprobat. Dar ce Da, știu, am scris. Da. Welcome back guys to art drawing. Today we'll keep going with this model portrait. And as I let on description, how to improve your drawing skills, how to shading, blending, skin, woman skin, and other techniques. I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I'm doing, how to do it, and you will see and you will improve your art drawing. If you like the drawing, stay with me and I'm gonna show you a lot of my tips. Also, I would like to make a small, uh, a little introduction mm -hmm. with my supplier. So I'm using a very good professional supplier. And uh, I put my uh, group link. So if you're interested for this supplier, you will find it in my group. Deja munci pe Adi, vezi? Nu a fost acceptat să dau drumul. Uite ce fain de unghii fac Adi. Ce-i dat? Nu putem să vrei încă atunci. Nu, Miss? Ba da. Poate că se vede și acolo, dar mi-e spalut o Adi. My group is Graphite Pencil by Raul Art. And... I would like to help people to learn how to draw in realistic. I'm going to show you a few steps how I build this model portrait. So if you want to use my supplier guys, click the link below. I just left the link down on description and the uh, scroll down is my group link and I post my supplier all of them so you can buy and use them if you like. I'm working with Tombow Mono Graphite Pencils, a mechanical pencil from Faber Castell, what I'm using now, okay, 0.5 grip. Uh, Tombo Mono Zero Eraser as well, very good for details. Uh, I'm using Jelly Roll for effect when I need gloss, as you can see here, here on tooth as well and over the eyes. Blending stump, like everybody using, I think everybody know need to know about blending stump and not the last thing is dotting pen by the way with this dotting pen also I will build blonde hair as you can see here and I'm gonna do some steps with you here guys so you can see <clears throat> how I'm drawing blonde hair so stay with me guys <clears throat> watching me and you will learn how to draw in realistic okay now as you can see I'm build outline mm -hmm. from the model and after that I will start to shading And I'm 
gonna show you how to shading to make a realistic hand skin as you can see here I shade and then blend nose lips so I make this realistic okay Also, I've been asked a lot of time how can I shade this because it's quite difficult to shade. That's why I'm doing this tutorial. So, if you're with me now, you will see how to make a realistic skin. Also, if you want to enjoy in my group, I put the link in the description and you're welcome to enjoy and to see my artwork, of course. Now, as you can see, I build proper hand so I can shading after that. Today I would like to finish the hand and start over the blonde hair. Let's see. Okay guys, so if you like to drawing and if you want to learn more about art drawing, try to stay with me and you will learn more, more of my tactics. I'm using Stratmore Bristol paper, 270 GCM, very smooth paper, very nice. And of course, professional supplier, so I can make good, good art. Now, as you can see here, guys, I draw the hand. Only thing is to make the shading. I'm gonna show you. I'm starting straight away with 6B pencil. By the way, I'm using Tombow Monographite. I'm gonna show you which one is better. If you see here, high quality of the pencil, okay, and because the nail is too dark, I'm gonna do shading for the nail before, so I can do the finger after that. So guys, that tutorial is for the people who want to improve their drawing to become better. And of course, to learn how to put more details in their drawings. As you can see here, I'm gonna zoom. Thank you very much. I'm gonna zoom now to see. I let this a little bit from sunshine and 
a little bit highlights on top of that. So now I'm gonna use my brush for shading. I'm shading with these two brushes. Soon I will be on YouTube channel so you can see my video won't be time lapse, everything will be on real time so you can understand everything what I'm doing. Hey, mama. Hey, hey. Hey, the, thank you very much. Sau cum o prins ploaia. Nu vrei să îmi duci pulovărul de sus, n-ai chiar? Ok? Dar nu din asta că e udă. Nu m-am pulovărul de sus. No, I'm not using charcoal pencils. I like to use graphite. I'm gonna show you my pencil. I don't like charcoals, so yes, it's possible to do dark sides shading with this graphite. Okay, Tombow Monographite Pencil, high quality, okay. And today you will see guys how to make a realistic hair using this dotting pen. Also, if you want to use this dotting pen, as I did here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to zoom out to see. As you can see here, realistic blonde hair. And I'm going to show you all steps how to do it. But it is time for that. Now I'm gonna zoom back to see all my paper. She is a beautiful Turkish model and today you will learn how to shading realistic. Okay, I'm gonna do the other nail, one more. So if you wanna learn how to do it, you have time now to see. Okay, now I need to use different pencil for shading because this 6B is the last dark pencil in my set. So in my set, Tombow Monographite Pencil, I have 6 of this grade. So I'm gonna use 4B now. Okay, to doing first shading. And I'm shading slowly by circles. I hope it's close enough, it's good light, so you can see everything what I'm doing. So guys, if you're struggling with something, now is your chance to learn.
Okay, as you can see, I finished with 4B pencil and I'm shading with my brush now. Soft shading. Okay, and now I'm changing with 6B grade because I need a little bit darker. So I'm going to cover a few sides with 6B. And again shading guys so we can mix those two grades okay we have the nails now I need just to repair a little bit make the perfect nail and the other one as well Okay guys, by the way for these things I'm using Tombo Mono Zero Eraser, also you have the link in my group for this eraser if you want to buy it. And now we can start shading. And we will start with the first finger. And I'm going to show you how to shading and mixing pencil grade. Okay. Now I need to change the grade is B pencil and I'm gonna shading slowly so I can give the model and also the shadow. very soft shading okay and the other side of the finger Uh, 
as you can see guys when I'm shading I'm keeping the pencil flat for better covering of the paper and the second part of the finger thank you very much Okay, and now we need to shading. I'm using this small brush and I'm going to shading slowly by circles. Thank you very much, guys. I'm doing this for teaching you to improve your drawing skill. Okay, and now down. Mulțumesc pentru șeruit, mama. And now we're shading here, but to make the finger more realistic, guys, we need to shading the line first. As you can see here, if you're shading the line first, and after that, coming side slowly, so you can combine the grade of the pencil, okay? Now the finger looking more realistic because I combined all grades here. Okay, I'm doing for you if you want. Uh, I'm using Tombow Mono Graphite Pencil for the people who are coming late and they want to know my supplier. Okay, that's high quality of the pencil. Tombo Monographite, okay. I'm using for shading brush. I'm using two types of brushes. It's like a painting brush, okay. One is for big size and this harder is for details and I'm gonna show you how I'm using for details. Uh, also for details, I'm using this Tombo Mono Zero eraser, okay. As you can see here, on the nails, mouth, eyes, nose, everything. Okay, I have one more, but different type of eraser. Okay, it's the same one, Tombo Mono Zero. I'm using for details and for outline, Faber-Castell Mechanical Pencil, 0.5 grip. Okay. And, of course, everybody must know about this blending stump, if I need to blending, okay. Also, you can blending here as well with blending, but I prefer brush because it's more detailed. Uh, for the people who see here, very, very highlight, I'm using this jelly roll, okay, 
for the tools as well I'm gonna show you closer how I did the tools very very realistic I'm using this jelly roll okay and how I did the blondie hair using this dotting pen okay also for everything I'm using here you have link in description click the link scroll down a little bit and you will go into buying supplier buying of supplier and I forgot to introduce another supplier good one is from Germany Faber Castell eraser pencil okay when I did this dots on a face and lips as well of course here on the eye everywhere so if you go on my supplier I'm gonna keep going now you're welcome that is I'm not sure if you need to use a ploy I'm not sure if you need to use a ploy and now I'm gonna show you step by step guys how you can improve your art drawing how you can make better drawing for the people who want to see the real picture I have in my phone so I'm gonna do this okay so my link is in description is my group and you're welcome to enjoy with me to drawing me with me and to learn more about art drawing so now we keep going with finger because I did one side we shading the other side as well hope you can see very well what I'm doing I'm gonna zoom now to see data it. okay and now I'm gonna shading the other line always start to shading from the line even if you're doing face here as you can see here okay so you can make realistic face you know like round face shading line first and after that you have time to come inside to mixing the grade of the pencils okay as you can see here of this finger I have dark side here but I need to change the grade and coming more with the light pencil so I'm gonna change the pencil lower that was B pencil okay I'm gonna show you that was B pencil okay when I did this and now I need to come in with one grade lower so before B I have HB and the first in my set is 2H I'm gonna use this 2H is very very light and I can combine very well the finger skin I'm shading slowly guys by small circles of course you can shading like this because it's a finger as well so it's not problem for shading but I prefer circles so I can cover all paper okay and a little bit here so now guys I'm combining the grades to make the realistic hard skin or finger whatever you like to call <laughs> I like to teach people how to drawing because I've seen on internet a lot of people struggling with hair with skin so I'm gonna show you a few of my tips how to do it ok 
Okay. Now I'm taking small brush and I'm shading. Also remember, start here from the line. Okay. And slowly, slowly we're going inside to mixing the grade. As you can see here, this finger is looking realistic because I let here a little bit darker, so I'm coming with lighter graphite inside, okay? So guys, I never use charcoal pencil. I'm doing everything by graphite. So yes, you, you can do it with graphite. Okay, so again line, because I'm looking to drawing realistic, and after I finish line, I'm shading inside, mixing the grade of the pencil. Also, I would like to welcome and thank you to new members. Now on my group, we are more than 3K. That's good. And everybody are welcome to enjoy it. With me, guys, you will learn how to draw in with more details. Mm -hmm. Because I like to put as much details as I can. Mm -hmm. Again, the line. Nu mai mers pe grupul ăla. Mers pe grupul ăla. Ok guys, so I finished the finger, now I'm coming down by shading <coughs> and I'm using 2H pencil, first grade when you want to shade skin from the beginning, so after that you can cover all paper and you can grow your grade of the pencil. Ok, 
Okay. We're shading again. And now I need to grow in the grade in this area. So from 2H I'm going higher and I'm taking B pencil. And as you can see I'm shading the line first. And after that, slowly, slowly, I'm going inside. Okay, now we combine the grades. Uh, you need to go to my group, click of the link. I put the link there, you should see the link. And you need to scroll down a little bit more because every every day somebody posts and even me. Scroll down and you will find the link. But if you don't find when I'm post this model, I'm going to post with my supplier as well so you can see all my suppliers. Is that right? Jesse Johnny. No more. Ah, no, no. Kare, Morgan. No? Okay, guys, now we take the brush and we're shading again slowly. Remember, guys, we're shading always first the line. So after that we can shading inside just as necessary. Maybe you don't need to shade more and you can let like that, how you like it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you need to shade more, that is no problem. And now to finish this area of the finger, I'm gonna take mechanical pencil. I have Faber Custom mechanical pencil. Okay, it's very sharp. Open five grip, and now I'm gonna shading with mechanical pencil. Very very soft. You're welcome. Very very soft. Okay, from the line. Very very carefully to inside, but just a bit. Okay, that's the last shading. So that's the way how to shading the face as well. I'm using mechanical pencil because my fabric mechanical pencil is a little bit heavy, so it's not so easy like any other pencil. Okay, it's a bit heavy, and I'm keeping for shading like to the end of the pencil, and I'm just playing on a paper. So this helping me a lot to shading very, very well.
now I can mix all grades with graphite from mechanical pencil. You can see with mechanical pencil last step of shading I'm combine all grades so we can make a realistic finger. Also guys I'm doing portraits as well. Mm. If someone is interested private message send me a photo description how you want to be and we're talking about so that's the last shading guys I love how it look like And now I'm gonna shading very very soft. As you can see here where I'm shading the line, the finger become very visible like realistic finger. Get it here, cool to get. Also, guys, this area you can shade as well, the same with ear cotton, so I can make a short demonstration. I have ear cotton, okay, I'm going very very easy and slowly on the line. As you can see here, but uh, if you shading small details like lips, nose or important details, don't use cotton, it's better to use a small brush if it's small size and now go round circles inside to mix the grades okay but as I told you guys this is just a demonstration and the graphite is on a cotton here so I don't need that I like to shading with this beautiful brush Okay, now only thing we need to erase what is extra. I'm using Tombow Mono Zero eraser. Okay, we're going to the next step, the second finger. Also, for the second finger, mm -hmm. I have blending stump to blending the lines. I'm doing for the first one as well. So before blending, 
Okay, that's great. I need some lines on top of the finger. Okay, we're going to shading now. And we can start the shading. Remember how to shading? I'm taking B pencil. And I'm shading from the line to inside, very easy. Something like that. A little bit shading inside through the lines. Okay. And I'm keep going with the finger. Okay, first blending. And after the shading. You're welcome. I'm gonna show you more tips. If you stay with me, you will see how to drawing realistic white hair or blondie, whatever you wanna call. By using dotting pen. Very blue. Okay, for the final. Some meow shio. I'm doing from the middle of the finger because the shading will be something like that. Okay, round. I'm gonna shade first middle slowly by circles. And after that, so I can go in everywhere to shading, and I'm gonna keep the model of the shadow, okay? Okay, I'm gonna shading with brush so I can see what I did. 
slowly, slowly, the line before. Thank you very much. Okay, again, the line. And now we're going to mix the grade. Okay, apparently we need darker pencil here, so I did with B pencil. I'm going to change higher now. I'm going to B. Where is to B? Okay. To B now, yeah. And also I'm shading on the line. inside but not much because we're looking to mix the grade of the pencil okay And the other side but here I have just on this half of shadows and the proper finger so guys always when shading keep the pencil sharp very important so you can keep the pencil flat you don't need to press on the paper with the pencil now as you can see I'm going slowly to mixing the grade to looking like a gradient and now if I'm doing job with a pencil with the brush, everything will change. No. Not a baby. Okay, now we're going to the next step, so we need to push shadow here. And 
As you can see here, I mix the grade so I can make the realistic finger. Now, because we have a dark shadow, we don't use B pencil. I'm going on 2B pencil. Task is different, is changing the grade of the pencil. Okay. And now I'm doing just from the middle and I'm going by circles. And the end of the finger. Again, this area as well. Doing circles. Okay. And a little bit here, but the shadow will be something like that. I'm going to draw to see. Okay. So we start with shading one, and after that this one. And I'm starting slowly, slowly from the middle. Thank you very much. Okay, and the other side as well. Now I'm going to shade in, but this time I'm not going to use this small brush because it's a little bit different proportion and I'm going to use this very very soft okay and a little bit bigger so I can do different shading now by circles to cover all side of the paper Okay guys, so now we need to draw in the lines, I'm going to take mechanical pencil, mm -hmm. very soft, And of course here, we need to put the end of the finger, and now because it's shadow here, we need darker than on top, so I'm gonna take different grade of the pencil. And will be 4B. Okay. And I'm going to shade in from the line. But as you can see, I let a little bit side from the highlight because we'll be a little bit highlight here. Da 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 And now because I want to change, uh, I want to mix the grade, I will doing 
just half a little bit darker and I will let this like this and when I will brush with the brushing when I was shading you will see how it look like so we're doing this first shading And the other side, of course, still half shading. But remember, it's better to let a little bit unshade because you need to repair with a Tongo Mono Zero eraser or different eraser. And you will see how I mix two grades of the pencil so I can make gradient finger. And the other side as well, but we have more type of shadows. So I'm gonna do this here. Still half of the finger, okay guys? And I need different grade here on top, so I will change the pencil there. Okay, now I'm gonna shading, but with a small brush, remember, is about the detail. And you will see what's happened with those two grades. Okay, now the other side. Now, as you can see, we have more types of the shadows and now the other side Okay, now we need shadow over the half finger. Yeah. 
Okay, now we're going to the next finger. taking B pencil again guys mm -hmm. and I'm gonna shading slowly slowly top of the line and we're going inside We're blending the line now. And we keep shading after we're blending the line. With the same pencil, B pencil. very light here
And now we try to look into shading inside of the wrinkle. Okay, now we're shading with brush, but it's about the detail, so I'm going to use this small brush again. And as I told you, I'm starting from the line. Okay, now I'm coming with different grades, so it's lower. And I'm gonna use the first grade in my set, it's two edge. And I'm covering this area, looking more lighter. And now I have different shading guys, so you will see another of my shading tip. And I'm gonna use this face wipe. Okay, I'm gonna split one time and split again and split. Okay, and I make like a sharp, okay. And I'm gonna shading all this area and after that inside so now I'm looking to mix the grade of the pencil making the shadow In this area you can shade as well with tissue, toilet paper, ear cotton or 
because I have face one. I'm gonna do this shading because I'm gonna tell you why. Because I need to do details with eraser. So you will see also some details with eraser to make more realistic. I'm not let like this here. I'm gonna help with eraser. So we're looking for realistic art drawing. Okay. Now I need shadow on this area as well again. So I'm gonna zoom back to see all my entire work, how it look like. Hopefully it's nice. I have outside from the finger very very dark and very very hard to see what to do it so I'm gonna finish the finger and after that I'm gonna take the side as well okay let's do the shadow here down I'm taking 2B pencil, okay, and now I'm shading the shadow like I did here. I'm gonna put some details here.
As you can see, I'm looking for all details, guys. Kim put the cool mama? No, we are back. You can draw in by shadow and you can improve your art drawing, guys. Thank you very much. And you will see what's happened after we're using shading. I'm going to shade this side with face wipe. So you will see how many details I can give to hand to make more realistic hand. Cheers, mama. As you can see here, guys, I can change the grade with one only, uh, only one pencil by pressing the pencil on the paper. Art drawing is so miracle, so nice. <clears throat> and my hand become realistic by these yeah, shadows. Yeah. Sometimes that I call fast drawing. this hand Okay, now as you can see, I let the highlight, but because I use this 2B pencil, I can't do highlight with 2B pencil, so I need to change the grade. I'm going on 2H pencil. First, 
great in my set is very very hard to see is almost hard visible so I'm going with circles and when I'm shading with face swap I'm gonna give gradient color of the pencils and you will see in a minute Okay, now I'm going to shade this dark area because it's about a shadow. So I'm going to use this small brush. Remember details with brush. Okay, the other one as well. Okay, and now I'm coming with face wipe. I will change the side because it's already dirty, okay? Or I can use this half side as well. And I'm gonna split one more time. And one more time, I make sharp, okay? And now you will see how many details I'm giving with this face wipe by shading. how to combine the grade to make the realistic art drawing. I'm gonna keep this in the other side. Okay, as you can see here, it's changing. I need to change because it's full again. So look, a realistic hand transforming. And now I'm combining the grays of the shadow with the graphite did before. Mm -hmm. Hope you like my shading guys. Hope you can try to see how is it. It's very realistic. Uh, 
that's it. We have left only one finger. So we need very light here. I'm gonna use two H pencil again. And I will shading slowly. I'm gonna repair something I just seen. Looks like this line here. So the finger is straight. Exactly like this. Okay, now I'm gonna do shading with 2 edge. Remember, start on the line. Make the form on the finger. Rebuild the wrinkle. Okay, and now we're shading. Uh, first, we need to blending. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we start to shading. And we start the shading from the line. Of course, we're shading this area.
I don't know what you mean about the shield. <clears throat> Madam Sapika Mama. I will show you on the other side. No, you will. This is first grade in my set is very light so <coughs> I need to change the grade for this area. I need darker synthetic. Okay, now we're shading. Uh, we're using the big brush. Very soft brush. Okay, now I'm changing the grade because I have some shadow, so I'm going on B pencil. Now I'm starting to build the shadows.
Welche wird Mama? Angelina ja nicht eigentlich. Nein. I need some lines here to make more realistic skin. Now the shadow. Okay, and now we're shading again. As you can see, I start shading from the line. And here, because it's about the details, I'm changing the brush and I'm going with small brush. Okay, and now we need to put a shadow like the other side. So I'm going on 2B pencil.
Ce ne voi via? In our next shadow here. So guys, if you think about it, how is my skill, how I'm drawing, don't think about it, just take a paper, guys. We have a lot of things to learn. <clears throat> just try to dance with the pencil of the paper and try to make more realistic, try to learn shading and your art will be great so if you love art you can learn a lot of things about the art by the way i'm drawing from 2000 so it's near 20 years of drawing i start with a simple sketch and I like it and I start to learn more about art so now I can drawing without no problem I know all taxings for the shade <clears throat> also guys I'm gonna teach you how to drawing realistic blonde hair because I, I'm gonna do a little bit brown hair today so you're welcome to enjoy with me in the art of drawing and to see how many you can learn about art okay guys now I'm going to shading again, but if you remember, I'm using this face wipe. And I need to take another one because it's full. I'm taking a clean one. Double color. I will turn a little bit of paper so I can shade easy. Down pick. They call the age in my mouth. Okay, that'd be enough. So I'm gonna do shading with this face wipe. can mix the grade of the pencil to make the realistic skin. Yeah, what?
Okay, I shade enough. And now I'm gonna take a small brush. and then combine the grain of the pencils Okay guys, so we have beautiful hands I need to put some small shading detail, so I'm gonna use this 2H pencil and inside of the I'm gonna shade it and also blending this line. Okay. Now guys, it's no problem if I shade outside because we'll be very dark side here, so we need to come in with different grade of the pencil to make sure the uh, dark area make like a shadow. <clears throat> And now guys, I need to take mechanical pencil, so I did the first. <clears throat> I'm gonna take mechanical pencil, my mechanical pencil, Faber Custom mechanical pencil. And I'm doing small shading. <clears throat> Okay, now I need to <clears throat> make this shadow a little bit visible, more visible, so I'm gonna take 2B pencil. Okay. And um, rebuild the proper shadow.
Everything what I need dark. I need to rebuild to make dark. So I can put all details on my drawing. Okay guys, I'm taking small brush now. Okay, so we have an end. Now we need to put details on a hand, so I'm going to take Tombo Mono Zero eraser and we start to build the details very, very sharp here. Okay, and now we start to build all details. Okay, we're going with the finger. Look different, that finger now. I'm coming with it is down here.
So now you will see how many details can you draw with the eraser. Very, very light here because it's nail. So we will using jelly roll like I did on the eyes. Again, the line. Okay, on the other hand, I did try to pick the other one, so I'm gonna turn a little bit of paper. So guys, after you're drawing, try to looking for more details on your art drawing to make more realistic your art working. Okay, now I need a little bit lighter on the other nail so I can put jelly roll. and also build the nail line. Am văzut? Am văzut? Unde de mult, Adi. Am zis. And of course the highlight. If you wanna use guys this eraser and you do, if you don't have it yet, go to my group. I put the link in the description. So scroll down and you will find this eraser with all my supplier. So you can enjoy working with new good supplier. Okay, and now the last nail. Okay, I'm sorry because I turned the paper, so I'm, I will stop to turn it in a minute. But I need to erase for details. So 
so you will see now guys how big change made details by eraser I'm gonna zoom guys to see how uh, realistic hand I made hope you like it okay with all details and now guys I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this Faber Castell again eraser pencil to make highlights on the finger by dots like everybody have on a finger I have as well some highlights so I'm gonna do by dotting This technique is very, very easy to make. And your art will be different. So as you can see guys, I'm changing the skin. Now I try to make the skin more realistic by dots and line. Just small dots 
and you will see different from before to now. I'm gonna give a quick shade with a big brush. Okay. And now, as you can see, it's full of shiny, realistic hand. Okay. Now I'm gonna zoom to see everything better and how nice look like. Now we will continue with this area, so we can finish with the shadow as well, a lot of shadows. So I'm gonna take very very dark pencil, so I can use with the last grade, 6B or whatever, 4B. I have this dark grade, okay. I'm going first time with 4B. To make the shadows and to make the difference from what I draw to the shadows. I let this zoom now to see better how I'm doing so by shading. We're looking for all possible shadow. And after shading, you will see how nice look like with this shadow. Hope you like guys my uh, shading technique. I'm coming with very, very dark shadow here. And also I need to finish with this beard. Okay, and now the other side. And I'm going with this shadow. And now guys, I'm going to show you how to using 
grade of the pencil without broken the paper to doing dark like nails okay Now I'm doing 4B pencil by shading. Okay, and now for the realistic shade, shadow, we need to combine the grade of the pencil, so I need to put from dark to light here. I start with 4B, shading slowly by circles. Okay, I'm taking now a small brush and wrong brush. And now we're shading slowly by circles so we can cover all paper. Okay guys, so we have the first shadow and now we need to put some gradients here and to change the 
the grade of the pencil but I need more darker inside so I'm gonna use 6B now hope you can see very well it's already erased and I'm using just for the line a little bit so, hmm? And I'm going here close to bottom lip so I can keep the detail. Okay, and I'm going to shading by circles, but not here, because this is for B, if you remember. I need to mix the grade. I'm doing half. Now, as you can see, I'm drawing very, very dark. So, yes, it's possible without charcoals. We not always need charcoals. Okay, I mix the grade with 4B. Again, here a little bit. Again, shading with brush. Okay, I mix, as you can see here. So now I need to bring more lighter. I'm gonna change 2B pencil. And by shading again. I'm doing the same circles. I let this side for highlight. Okay, now we're shading again. But this time I'm gonna use this. It's very good for mix. I can mix very easy graphite pencil. Every grade. So I'm gonna shade from here, inside, till I'm mixing with 4B pencil, very soft, okay? Again here on top. So as you can see, I mix very, very well the grade of the pencil.
Now just rebuild a little bit the finger. Okay. And I'm using eraser for details because I need to put some highlights, not too much. Just a bit highlight here. So where is Something like this, perfect. Okay, that's it. And now I'm using knitted eraser to make more highlights here. Or I can use the same uh, Faber Castell mechanic uh, eraser pencil, and by dotting, I make the realistic highlights on the skin. Okay, I'm coming with eraser to rebuild a little bit the bottom lip. I need very sharp eraser, so I'm gonna sharp again. make more realistic effects. Okay, now I'm coming with effect on this finger because is I'm gonna show you closer what's happened. You see, it look like the same grade, but I need to separate what I did. So I'm coming with eraser here. And of course here. Just to be highlight on the finger. Will be here as well because I will have darker on this area as well. It's 
So guys, now you know how to draw in realistic, you know a few of my tactics. It's time to start to try new portraits. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom guys to see how I combine the grade and how many effects I did. I'm gonna show you now a full picture and my progress. Știi tu că eu desenez fain? Cum să fiu gata? Mi-am la film cât e ce așa? Așa. Stă. So guys, how many effects you can put on your art drawing to make more realistic? How many highlights? I'm gonna use different eraser because that one is too full. Okay guys, so I need to put some darker here as well, will be only dark, so I'm gonna use 
6B pencil. Also, I will need a shadow here, so it won't be a problem. Again here, and this more darker. Okay. And then I was about to come across. Awesome check, so what? And now I'm going to shade in, guys. Awesome check that. I'm going to try Okay, now I'm gonna do this side of the shadow, but I'm gonna do a bit lighter.
and now I need darker here so I can make difference from the finger And now I try to changing again the gray. Again shading guys. I will need more darker here. And I try to change the grade. And combine with the line. That's why I'm looking for so nice. Now you will see how to shading, blending and combine the grade to make the realistic face or hand skin. And now I'm coming with 6B because it's about the shadow so I can make the shadow from the finger, mouth, lip and down and I'm gonna show you how to make the shadow on this area we need to grow in because it's about the lip, so now I need to grow again on the tools as well Okay, I'm gonna shading again. Shading will change a lot. For me, in art, drawing shading does mean everything. To 
to make like a realistic shadow on a mouth. Mm -hmm. Here we go guys, so we have the shadow on the mouth as well. So uh, now you know a few of my tactics, how I'm drawing. I'm gonna show you about not more than 10 minutes how to drawing a uh, blonde hair. After that I'm gonna switch off video so I can keep going with drawing. And I'm gonna show you how I drawing blonde hair on my way. So I'm using this dotting pen, guys. If you wanna use this dotting pen, I put the link in the description. Go click the link and scroll down and you will find also the link for this dotting pen. Now I'm gonna show you how I draw blonde hair. So by lines, I'm going to make lines before. It's almost hard to see for you guys because it's a dotting pen, it's nothing graphite. So that's my tip how I'm drawing blonde hair. So now you know how to drawing. Only thing is to have this beautiful supplier. So I'm going to show you just a little bit. Using dotting pen. You can draw very easy white hair for them months, old months, or eyebrow for old people. So now this is my way, how I'm working and I'm going to show you what's happened after I'm shading. Okay, so I did a little bit on this part and now I'm just looking for the shadows, how, where they are and I'm gonna show you how I'm shading. Okay, I'm start here and I'm taking 2H pencil or if you have different set of the pencil, take the lighter 
first and do shading over the wire over the hair just a little bit cross to put some shadow Now, if you don't have too much shadow, just shading. Okay, now I'm going to shade in with brush, so you can see here after shading nothing will happen. Okay, now shading more. Gonna shading again. Okay, and now I'm taking mechanical pencil. I'm using Faber Castell Grip 0.5 mechanical pencil. Okay. And I'm doing proper the hair <laughs> to see different from the realistic hair and from the other drawing. I'm drawing now the shadow. Okay. But I will keep this technique tomorrow. So guys, Cast the realistic blonde hair using dotting pen and after that coming with shading and if you have a picture to make portrait with more blondie just take eraser very sharp eraser I'm gonna show you how I sharp mine okay very very sharp 
and just make realistic hair with eraser when you have um, highlights. So I'm gonna erase everything where I need highlights. Okay. So now we build a realistic blonde hair. And on top I have a lot of blondie. I'm gonna zoom guys to see how I made this. And thank you very much for watching guys. I'm Raul, by the way, from Graphite Pencil by Raul Art. If you wanna use my beautiful supplier, you can click the link and you will learn how to draw in realistic art drawing with very beautiful good supplier okay mm. so i have a lot of job to do more but i'm gonna take a break guys so look entire project till now and we will see tomorrow guys with next video where we'll do ear earring and of course the rest of the blondie hair thank you very much guys for watching and hope you understand and learn my drawing skill maybe you can improve more better now because you know a lot of things so bye now thank you very much see you tomorrow